near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. This is Mr. Chris Claremont. A legend. Melanie goes, Eats a <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is the Uncanny Omar with. Sasha Melanie. And. Yeah, and. And it is our last day in Japan. done some shopping we've gone to several places we've hit before so let's see if we can record at least a couple places and talk about what's changed since the last time we came here when it came to treasure hunting or some graphic novels so fingers crossed they let us record inside after talking to them so stay tuned All right, we decided to go to Shibuya in the afternoon to see what kind of stores we find, if anything. And right now we're in this particular crosswalk, which is a very busy crosswalk. All right, so in 2008, this was one of my favorite places that Melanie and I found. Now everybody knows about it. Uh, they have an online shop, they have several locations, but it's Mandarake. This place is so wonderful. Take a look in here and see if we can record in here. But first, let's take a look at what it looks like. This is the Shibuya one. There's one in Nagoya. There's one in Kyoto. So they have several locations in Japan, but this was the very first one we came to and holds a special place in our heart. They have several floors, just like most manga and anime shops. Lots of toys. Ooh. Feels like you're going to someone's dungeon or basement. I know a guy that has a basement like this. But right off the bat, you see manga here. I like a site, Yotsuba. So we'll see what we can find in here and see if we can even record down here. But let's find out, family. I love that each floor still has bookcases of just books and different stuff, vinyl records. So several floors, like I said. So we've been given permission to film in here for a few minutes. Um, so they have toys in just about every level, but just lines and lots of just manga. This is insane. And there's all use. That's what I love about this place. Which goes back to what I was saying at the beginning, how things have changed since 2008 is now people know about places like this, like Book Off and Mandarake or used uh, toy stores sometimes carry books and collected editions, which is crazy to think about but yeah now now the the secret is out thanks to us youtubers but you know in a way it helps people out in case they're traveling and they want to see some stuff they want to buy some stuff on the cheap end still cheaper than buying things new but you have to be okay with buying used books and the condition of them so just to kind of give you a heads up but this is just insane can you imagine a line of collected editions like this like Omnis, and by the way, they do sell Omnis sometimes. Uh, I actually, I bought some that were out of print and I let out my little secret back in 20, I think in 2019, I was doing a live stream maybe. And I told people that, oh yeah, Mandarake sells things uh, used. And they had out of print books like Captain America by Mark Wade and books like that. So uh, let's see where else they have. Uh, like I said, it's just one aisle. But they have several. So that's just one part of the store. And then we still have lots more to go through. That's why I love the Shibuya Mandarake. Uh, the other thing is, if you're traveling with kids like I am, um, usually the, the floors are separated. Like the adult material, the stuff that's for uh, mature content, if you will. Uh, they have it separated and they have labels on the door. Some stores, especially in Akihabara, don't so uh, just be prepared for that but yes all this lines and then rare stuff behind the glass cases old school stuff some of the stuff reminds me of the stuff that i used to get in peru a lot of this stuff is uh, tasuka up there and then some of the most popular manga ka they do separate them by creators 
here are some other collections this time around you might be familiar with some of these names like there's dungeons and dragons handbooks here uh, art books like just from et the extraterrestrial things like that i was trying to find the western books it's, they usually have like some collected editions of like x-men and things like that that are translated into different languages what is this all right what is what is this generations okay i've got that one what is this one this is the 2019 version huh. all right i found the western collected editions here's x of swords that's the way it looks still looks like tom mueller's design of x of swords on the spine uh, except it's got an obi i love these i wish we had got these in america i love the connecting spines like that uh but this is what i mean like you actually have english books in here too and they sell them online and this is where i found some of out of print on these in the past but a lot of these are just western comics translated into japanese there are some that are uh, i think they're chinese is what i saw this is no man's land a big thick compendium and then they have editions like this the walking dead wicked cover there i don't know if some of these have spoilers on them or not but there's why the last man coma been waiting to read and idw this is volume five these are out of print unfortunately when they lost the license to that you can't really reprint them so and down here are other albums like standalone or standard size hardcovers there's the drift mini series so you kind of get the idea like digging through here you might find some things that are out of print i, I love doing this but <laughs> it takes time it's not uh it's not like it's just standing on the shelf uh, the things people look for sometimes that are out of print are harder to find so let's see what it, oh, that looks awesome yeah so it's not just western books it looks like uh some stuff here from europe as well i saw udon here street fighter comic and it's good to see saga just in different languages it's good to see a lot of these comics in different languages and just Isle and Isle of just great stuff. Oh, a pretty girl looking at pretty soldier Sailor Moon stuff. What a great segue. Awesome segue. Pretty little kid Look, down it's there. Look, helico critters. It's the otter family. They're, first of all, we're in Japan, it's Lydia. Like, it's the Sylvian family the here. Family. Get it together. And of course, I have to sneak this in here because it's not just about collected editions for me, but oh my gosh, Transformers, including oh, an original Lord. Overlord down there. Uh, he hey, Bibi. Cool. Oh, Bibi. Oh. Uh, from uh, Beast Wars 2. Hey, look, guys, it's Rec Art. Well, that's classic Rec Art. It's called United. But yeah, toys. Oh my gosh, this place, I could spend hours and hours here. And I love the stuff that's damaged because sometimes you find really rare stuff they have there. Transmetal Megatron. Transmetal 2 Megatron. Oh, I'm sorry. How are you even my child? But I'm just kidding. She is. I love her. She knows. I'm, no, does, sarcasm. Sarcasm. But what I was saying is the stuff behind the case, they know it's good, right? It's worth Wait, lots of money. But over here, somebody could be looking for that <laughs> lady. Uh, over here is where you're going to find stuff that's kind of box damage or loose. And this is where the gold is. Oh, wow. Jim Lee... I don't know what that is. It's wicked though. Recognize that Stuart Eminent. X-Men. Underneath the rubble of toys, I found this. Young Blood. It's Bad Rock. It's a bust of Bad Rock. Liefeld. Proud. Gotta be. It's all the way here in Japan. It just doesn't end. This is a dream come true if you can read Japanese. So it's, uh, they do have some manga from time to time that is in English, so you just gotta keep an eye out or just ask somebody that's working here. But my gosh, it just doesn't end. I wasn't kidding when I said I could get lost here for hours. I ain't seen my family in hours. I don't know where they are. Uh, and I found some things that I want. 
which is even more dangerous. So uh, under the new arrivals, they had the Nausicaa, all seven volumes, but the Dragon Ball really piqued my interest because it's like the orange boxes from the DVDs, but they're big, like, it just kind of gives me hope that maybe one day we'll have a hardcover collection of Dragon Ball in oversized format. Here's the more rare manga, like that Akira full set. All right, Melanie. Why do you have a big smile on your face? My baby found this for me. As in Omar, okay, Omar. Yeah. This is what I collect out in the wild, Iron Log Jan. And you rarely find it in America. And I was looking at different Mondrog gates. So, and here's it in Japanese. Well, you just gotta learn to read in Japanese and you'll be fine. Ah, uh, that's fine. Saw the Marvel characters. So we're gonna check out what Toy Sapiens is like. Now, Alicia gets to act out the famous meme. It's so cool. It's a really cool place. You never know what kind of Marvel stuff you'll find here. They also have DC stuff. Let's see if they have any comics. These are cool. Wow, all these are sold out. These are all in stock. Even that Moon Knight is awesome. Oh, these Spider-Man Hot Toys. I guess the MCU Hot Toys are so freaking awesome. Like, that's Spider-Man 2099. Wow. I mean, the Carnage is cool. That Joker. That Joker is awesome. Ah! That looks like Tom Holland. Wow. Finally, some good literature. Japanese. Look, look, girls. It's also some classic stories okay. and collected editions. It is. Oh. And Goody Hero is huge over We've here. Lots one. of stickers over there. This one's hard coming, but uh, we have this one. Yeah, we have the one that's Viz and Marvel that sent us that. This is Marvel Studios. That's what it says. Wait, this is Absolute Carnage. I got that oh, one. Oh, good job, baby. Yeah. I don't know what this one is. Uh, oh, it's Black Panther. Rise of the Black Panther. I got House and Powers of X. It's a pretty cool edition. What's this? I mean, I know it's different. It's uh, Joe Kelly's uh, cable, uh, cable, Deadpool, and Spider-Man run. Spider-Man Noir. Okay, these are so cool. I gotta get a couple of these. Hmm. And I love that you just find manga out on the street. That's just cool. It's just on a cart. I don't even know what store's selling this. So here's a little travel tip for people that are big purchasers or coming here to Japan for the pure purpose of just buying things up. Find yourself a Don Quixote. They're everywhere. They're open 24 hours and they sell luggage cheap. So you can have more than one. I mean, they sell more than just luggage. Obviously, they sell toys and things. And they play 90s anime music. And they play 90s anime music, which is so flippin' awesome. Uh, they usually have about yeah, this is six, six, eight floors. But yeah, we came here to buy luggage specifically. And they sell them pretty cheap, and you get a tax-free luggage at that. Because uh, you, all you have to do is show your passport. That way you don't have to pay taxes on it. So. Anyway, that's if you find a lot of things you're interested in. Uh, and yes, they sell all kinds of things here. All kinds of things. All sorts of different things. All kinds of things can be found at Don Quixote. Thank you to Wonder Maddie for letting us know about this place now. So in a way, it's kind of like Walmart with some spice added into it i guess all kinds of different luggages including some that are very 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 expensive but very well built look at the white one are these these are nice okay now this is way too cool these firework guns those are freaking awesome and connected to this particular don quixote is a ever popular maid cafe which we've shared our story about our maid cafe experience in 2008 before on the channel. Now 
upper management has found her shop. The Sailor Moon store. Here we go. These are old school. That one brings back memories. I had to stop at the jump shop to check out not just the manga, but all the extra stickers. He and Asanji. Love it. You know something, Melanie? What I noticed this time around is that there's a lot more acrylic figures yeah. stands than there was See, the last time we came. Days. Like people are collecting these instead of little statues and PVC. So I think that's pretty cool. The price point is about the same though. I mean, just a little bit cheaper, but pretty cool if you're into collecting, I guess. And and where's where's she? Where's she? Where's American she? Girl. Yeah. Yes. American superhero. Her name is Carol Reaper. Do yes, son. Comic? Yes. And just looking at the different manga in this particular store, my gosh, I, <laughs> there's so many I don't even recognize. This is amazing. Well, some I do recognize. And amongst all of the manga in a very small Barnes and Noble type of section, you have American comics, Western comics in Japanese, but they're here. Like Spider-Man, Spider-Man Noir seems very popular and everything else, my goodness, this is manga heaven. And a lot of these volumes are out of print in America. I just, they don't say in print because publishers just have a hard time realizing what's out of print. Finally, somebody that appreciates the crossing. That's the stuff there. No, I don't think that is an omnibus. That is definitely a toy. So this is what shopping like is in Japan. Whenever you got your kids with you, they want to stop at every Pokemon Center. This is the one in Shibuya and they're all a little bit different. Now, there are exclusive plushies here, right, Alicia? That you can't find in the USA? USA. I had to do it, had to be done. The only time you can do it is when you're outside of that country. Um, but yes, the family is now debating on which exclusive Pokemon plushies to get. It's so stressful. But across the way is the Capcom store and the Nintendo store, so this place is so cool. Oh yes, the Yamaguchi. That Iron Man is so awesome. And so is that Wonder Woman. But come on, Optimus here? I think I still have my original one. And what's a trip to Japan without going to the Taito building? to play video games, Dance Dance Revolution, and of course, the Crane Games. No pressure, Melanie, but you're on camera. No pressure, Melanie. I Googled how to do this. You Googled how to do this? Uh, I think it was $100. It was a lot of research. Money. I didn't have my energy. Uh, let's see how well you do. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, barely moved. Melanie, what did you do? <laughs> you, did that, you did that in one try. You did that yeah, in one try. I had 200 yen left. <laughs> All right, how's it feel, Melanie? You finally got uh, it. Okay, so I was saying earlier is I did Google research and it yeah. was too much and takes too much time for my vacation. So uh, I didn't do very much. And also, I want to point out that during. Um, okay, I'm just going to rip this box because we're not keeping it. Tears of the Kingdom when I play Legend of Zelda. And it's like. Use Ultra Hand to move things around to solve puzzles. I'm like, in my head, I cannot, I'm not spatially aware of how to spin things. So these games are really hard for me because I have the physics of how the box will go when the crane hits a certain point is beyond me. 
but I wanted Oscar yesterday. And now I got this, and I'm gonna put little plants in the kitchen. On yes. our Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior old school fans. You can put a little dirty in here. Hey, now let's do the metal slime. Metal slime. No. Not sure how much time has changed, but back in 2008, this was a really cool spot. What's the book off? Uh, no, not, not that. This. Where they sell used games, books, movies, let's see, toys. Downstairs is where all the anime is, and the second floor is where all the trading cards and DVDs are. So this is all the manga for 110 yen, which is crazy because we're at Book Off, which is like a Goodwill. It's just insane to look at the amount of manga. Wow. Endless and endless aisles of manga. Bundle after bundle. Look at all the one piece. Wow, now that's love. Did get some artbooks though with the kids. So you also have art books here, which we'll be looking at. Uh, the big difference this time around from 2008 is that the prices have gone up a little bit. Uh, because this was almost like your Goodwill type of store, uh, where the Did prices were... Goodwill? They actually have some... Ooh, see, this book has come out in America. But they have, like, even The Art of Adventure Time. There's Street Fighter. And they do have Street Fighter and all about clamp so some really interesting out of print books here and some rare stuff and book off has also the bundles too so that's pretty cool and this is the stuff in the display case for video games so even though some of them are cheaper than most places yeah book off has gone up a lot more than they used to be his prices are still better than most places, though. But this is just video games. When the wife and kids want to stop hunting for graphic novels to come to Agashi Bond's shop, you say, okay. So, not sure what this line is for. But, I mean, there's lines everywhere. Stores open at 10 a.m. here. And the portrait of pirates keep looking at me. So there's a few I'm missing from here. Uh, gotta stop at every robot shop when we're in Akihabara. But. Is that Sniper Joe? No. That is not. I think you kids would like this more than Waddle Dee. It's Gurren Logan. Uh, you know, you're in no man's land when there's a money exchange just about in every block of Akihabara. Whew. Just that I'm not exaggerating. But even in small shops in Akihabara, they still have a bunch of manga with different types of just titles here. So, not the weirdest vending machines, but still cool vending machines with trading cards. We did see some cigarette vending machines and what else? Tabasco sauce vending machines? So, it's a little bit of what it's like here in Akihabara the electric city. Right now we're heading to Mandarake, which we've been to the one in Shibuya, but I'm wondering if we can film here at the one in Akihabara. Oh my goodness, look at the recycling, all the magazines and some manga in there for, for recycling. This is so sad. Okay, not going dumpster diving, not going dumpster diving, not doing that type of video. And here is the Mandarake in Akihabara with eight floors of goodness. Now to find the floors that have the stuff we want. So jealous of these box sets, the Osama Tezuka ones. They're Cyborg 009. Oh my gosh, and they're oversized. That is beautiful. Oh, look at all the Tezuka stuff. 
Wish we get stuff like that in oversized format in America. This is Captain Harlock, Lydia. Leiji Matsumoto. Yeah. He passed away earlier this year. Wow. Mandarake knows what's up. And what, they're talking about the, the books. X-Men Digest size. Look, looks how small that is. Oh, and there's Transformers. Dawn of the Predicus. And this has become really popular here too, this time around. What I noticed is that they're selling manga sets now. They got them in plastic. So not boxes or box sets, but just wrapped in plastic and ready to go. I kind of wish we would do that, but, but then again, Tonka bonds are a lot cheaper. Like that's 880 yen, which right now, my goodness, it's about six bucks for that. But not everything is cheap. Some of the stuff that's out of print, even here, goes for lots of money. But it's just really cool to see sets here in case you're looking to get into a particular series. You don't have to worry about hunting down one volume. They even have Shonen Jump. I remember when they tried to do this in America and it just did not take off. I mean, it, it did so well at first, but just didn't take off like it did here. It was doing so good at first that they started thinking about doing it weekly instead of just monthly. And sadly, it just never really took off. I don't think the market was there for anthologies. I don't know, maybe some company can try again one day. I think it was Mix Zine that first did it. Uh, later became Tokyo Pop. And then of course, Shonen Jump started coming out. Uh, Viz started bringing it over. But like I said, eh, it lasted for a few years before the sales dropped enough that they were just not gonna publish it anymore. I finally found some figures that I've been looking for. No, not her. I do collect the Baishojo stuff, but her, the altar figure. I've been looking for that one for a bit. Now, if you can't find anything while you're traveling in Japan or where you live, don't forget to check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Well, that's it. That was the small video tour of shops here in Japan. And we just want to thank you all for joining us. And even though I swore I wouldn't be making any videos, I still wanted to sneak one in. So thank you to my wonderful management back there for letting me do it. So, Uncanny Omar signing off with... Adjective Les Alicia. Sash Melanie, stay Everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Much love.